So, in the previous episode, I, I mentioned briefly that in these videos I was going to go over plans, ideas, um, especially for Spire. And uh, this episode is pretty much going to be based around Spire. It's pretty much going to be based around the thoughts I've got right now about Spire. Everything Spire related. First of all, the Spire Twitch channel. We made the channel and we done a like launch week where for the first seven days of the channel uh, we had a different member live every single day. Uh, they've done sort of like a two, three hour shift. We had the intent that that was going to continue um, for as long as we can keep it up. Uh, but after the first week, it kind of got to the realisation that whilst the Spire channel was live, no one else in the team felt comfortable going live because they didn't want to take away the views, they, didn't, they want to be able to support the team channel. And that being said, since then I've put in quite a lot of thought of how I want to keep that channel active without taking away from our players and without it just being a normal person stream on their own channel, but instead being on the Spire channel. So I didn't want it just to be for example, if I was playing CS, I didn't want it just to be how I do my normal channel CS streams. I want it to be a little bit more of a twist, a little bit more interactive, a little bit more team-based. So for example, instead of it just being me playing MM with a couple of friends, it would instead be a Spire 10 man. So we'd have 10 Spire members and we'll be randomly also assigned across the two teams and do like a best of three or something and make it quite fun, make it uh, quite laid back, maybe have a prize for the winning team, uh, maybe have a forfeit for the losing team, something along the lines. But some of the other ideas I had for this would be to do the old uh, Fortnite 2v2 in squads. So you'd have uh, a Spire 4 man or a Spire 2 man and they'd go 2v2 in squads, trying to get as many kills as they can and trying to get the win. Similar sort of thing we wanted to do with the Spire 10 Mans was to do a Rocket League 3v3. So we'd have six Spire members and then split into two teams of three and battle it out for a best of three. Uh, every three games we rotate the teams or something like that. Other ideas for the streaming would be to have like a, a Let's Play sort of series. Uh, we've battled around the ideas of like survival games. So we'd have like a Minecraft server or something. Or more recently, Tyler bought me um, The Forest. And there's quite a few of us that actually have the forest, so we were thinking we could do like a let's play where five or six of us hop on a server and we just try to sort of play out, see how far we can get sort of thing. But yeah, they're just a couple of the ideas we have for the Spire Twitch channel just to try and uh, get it more active again. Uh, but yeah, that sort of sums up the, the Twitch side of things at the minute. Once again, this next thing is something I brought up in the previous episode, the Spire podcast or the Spire casters. Um, someone suggested in the comments. I think it was Heretic. Uh, but yeah, the Spire cast. This is predominantly going to be hosted by me and Matty, I believe. And the episode's going to be based around literally fucking anything. But we really want to make these kind of educational. We kind of want to make them so they're not just us just chatting shit. Uh, we'd kind of like to get some guests on. Uh, we've got a few, well I've got two people in mind at the minute. It's one of the people I've got in mind is really fucking interesting. I don't want to give away too much and take away from the podcast, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So yeah, we are looking into making some form of clothing. Uh, we don't want to make it fucking gaming related, like I don't want fucking gamer written across the front. But like the Spire logo, it's not like gaming related, it's just like... I think it looks just quite clean, and the name Spire it isn't like a fucking nerd thing. It just kind of sounds like a normal word. Like the thing about the naming of Spire is, I never wanted it just to be for a gaming team. I wanted it to be something that I can use for any other avenues I want to take this. Um, obviously, we've launched as a gaming team, we've launched as a streaming team, but I don't want it just to be limited to that. I want it to be that Spire is just a company that can do anything. I want it to be something that's so diverse and so open to literally anything. What I really love is uh, Casey Neistat, he made Veeam. And obviously that started off, as far as I know, as a video sharing app. And that sort of, it didn't really kick off, it didn't really go the way they planned. Um, but instead of just scrapping the name, they've continued to use Beam for now a news outlet on YouTube, which I think is fucking awesome. I think that's so cool that they haven't got a name that is completely tied to one thing. I really like the idea that 
Bean can literally just be anything and they can transition it to, into any type of company whenever they want. You know, I really hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, it's definitely got a lot more, a lot more content, a lot more meaning than the first episode. The first episode, like I said, and it was kind of like a pilot. It was just to sort of test the waters, see how it came out, see what the feedback was. But like I say, the feedback was phenomenal and thank you guys, seriously. It's really awesome that I've got like a small community that just sort of helped me. Like, it's, it's really awesome and I, I can't thank you guys enough. It's like, even with Twitch at the minute, it's got to a stage where I've started actually having concurrent viewers and there's, there's people that come by the stream and they tell me that like they're not really doing anything else, they're just watching my stream and it's fucking awesome, like. I really can't thank you guys enough, I, I truly appreciate it. But as everyone says, this is just a start and uh, onwards and upwards from here, as cringy as that is, but uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I shall see you in my next video. I'm gonna do that cringy hand thing.